There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. singer and songwriter yes he is john bon jovi it's my life and it's, it's now, now never. Never. Mm -hmm. i don't want to live forever. forever you're not going to you're not going to john <laughs> he's the, that nice you didn't want to live forever and as a matter of fact you're gonna die soon so no, bon jovi's still alive no, I know. I said Stop gonna die people. soon. Mm -hmm. I did not. People. Okay, I'm so you sorry. You killed Pele. Pele last week. I killed Pele. Pele. <laughs> I wondered if Pele was alive or dead, and I, I speculated that he was dead, but he is still alive, ready for the pun, and kicking. <laughs> no, he's not playing soccer anymore. No, I'm sure he still plays soccer. Even when an athlete retires, they, they don't become us. They don't just sit around and become Cartman. They hey, still kick do around. their sport every now and again. Whoa, do you know that his actual real last name, John Francis Bon Jovi? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, what? the Bon Jovis are all over the music business. What do they do other than make... By the way, this is... Welcome to the last name of the left, everyone. I am bad. <laughs> his That's, last uh, name is actually is Bon Jovi. Yeah, produ like, there's a producer that worked on... I can't remember which Ramones album it was, but, yeah, he was, like, his cousin. His name was, like, Jimmy Bon Jovi. I wouldn't even buy a pizza from that man. Let what are alone you talking about? That I do like, I mean, honestly, old Jovi, though. I will get down with some old Jovi. When I was driving across country, across the country, when Jovi came on, it did save my life a few times. Living on an edge, living on a prayer. Halfway there. It's really good. Halfway there. I also think that, you know, with, on a steel horse I ride. I don't know why those all those hair rock guys, like, went through a cowboy Thing. Well, that well, you know that, that was, was for young guns too, and that was a motorcycle he was talking about. That's a steel horse. That's a motorcycle, Henry, not a horse. I take that back. The song he did for Young Guns too was "Blaze of Glory." I why love. Why was he stealing about what's with the cowboy face? Why did they all go through a cowboy? Face? <laughs> it's a motorcycle uh, face, not a cowboy face. He it's was a, a cowboy horse. on a motorcycle. <laughs> You can't be a cowboy on a motorcycle. You well, have to according to Sawyer on the stream, Bon Jovi's brother owes my husband $25 from the Chris Cruise in 2018. What's going on? <laughs> 25 bucks. Give him Mr. 25 Mr. Bon Jovi. Mr. Bon, Mr. bon Jovi, if you were out there and you're watching the stream, and I know you are 58 years long, living in New Jersey, pay this man $25, please. 25 With inflation, $32. He's canceled. 32 bucks. Well, speaking of people who are not scam artists, and pe pe speaking of people who deliver, Marcus Parks, it's your mandate this week, and yes, I know is. you've got yeah, something would... good for the people. Can we start yeah. calling Marcus the delivery boy? Ooh. <laughs> no. So I've Why? moved on from Mr. Evidence to the delivery boy? The no. delivery boy. No, oh, okay. 30 like... minutes. Oh, it's free, and he loves to give it for free. That is disgusting. <laughs> Can we just drop the the and just call me delivery boy? Yeah, it sounds like what started COVID. No, we're not doing this. <laughs> oh yeah, someone says yeah. Someone just said I have a booger. I saw it. I actually just saw it, and then I think I scooped it. No, I think you got it there. Real yeah. Neil Young, at the last waltz there. Just telling that was cocaine, cocaine though, and I don't do cocaine. Yeah, you never did cocaine. It's very I did it one time, and it was awkward. Yeah, you didn't like it. Awkward, huh? He has enough energy already. It yeah. was in Montreal. It was three thirty in the morning. There was a bunch. There was these two women kissing each other. And someone handed me a little bump of it, and I did it, and I really? watched them do it. Yeah, of course. And then I cried listening to um, uh, New York. <laughs> like that song came on, and we were like, I'm from New York. <laughs> I'm from New York. I did that for a while. That is where <laughs> dreams are made of, and then all of a sudden you get priced out. Um, Marcus. Uh, Russell McGee, yes, this is live. Yeah, yeah it's live. It is absolutely we live. Yeah, of course. If, uh, what, do uh, 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 what do y'all think about deep fakes? I think they're horrifying. I think that the country is going to be in total shambles. I think the truth is being destroyed uh -huh. on a regular basis. Also, people can have fun Instagram memes. I think that deep fakes should be banned altogether. Mm -hmm. You know, the well, only thing I will say truly about deep fakes and the nature of reality is that it's hard because I think it's helpful for people to understand that you are, in fact, yourself not real. So we, no, you, you are real. Could. You just took no, 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 no. We don't need to live in this world. You just took mushrooms for the past week, Henry. That's why you're saying that deep fakes are dangerous to society and deeply disturbing for everyone. Everyone yes. should be scared of the deep fakes. Yes, but yes, they are dangerous. Of course, they're dangerous. 
but they're also really fun. Let's <laughs> let's let's put one down the pike. Let's let's all laugh into the abyss together. I am wearing a yellow shirt. This week. So, tell me what you think you're doing that contributes to this chaos and this problem. I don't, don't behave disrespectfully. <laughs> I steal like cars. I steal her credit card. I ain't gonna lie. There's no reason to lie. Everybody know already. Like. What do you say to yourself that <laughs> this is what's going to ruin our democracy? You the right to take somebody else. Honestly, car. if this all it takes, then we deserve it. I'm talking to be sliding. You mean that's what makes me want to take the next bitch car. What now? I'm sorry. I didn't yeah, it's getting good. It's getting good. good. Yeah, it's really great. So worth it. Do you have an accent of some sort? Tell them where it comes from. You know. <laughs> from the street. Oh. Okay. So. <laughs> Tell me again, what, what is like, it oh like that you say to yourself that gives you the right to take somebody else's car? I don't say anything to myself. I just say, all right, there's a car. There's some keys right in front of me. I know where the car at. I mean, she you is doing, she put two and two together. <laughs> I, she, I saw her at the grocery store. Oh, yeah? Did you, How was she? Did two you huge straight? bodyguards. <laughs> really? She didn't need it. <laughs> Who no, is this? I'm asking, how far the did catch you me outside, girl. That's good for the Dr. Phil, that deep fake, because it, it just pretty much goes from there. So she's a celebrity? She has two bodyguards? Like she's Christina Ricci or something? To be completely honest, she's just burning money. Nobody gave a shit. The only yeah. reason why I had yeah. known her, I think I had just seen a thing that she was in, and I saw her on the street. It was like kind of next to each other, but I would not have recognized her normally. I know that she does hip-hop now. I don't did. think it's going to work out for that poor woman. It's been uh, years, buddy. Truly. I well, how much keep, is she making? What but is I she... mean, I, it's one of those weird things where, like, I keep thinking about stuff like we're re-watching Twin Peaks Season 3, and I was like, man, we just saw this. And Natalie's like, this came out in 2017. Yeah. And I was like, that was three years ago. Three years ago. Big if true. Big if true. What is I mean, time ain't real, man. Time's just a fucking number, dude. Yes, it is a very crucial number when it comes to knowing how long you have left to live. <laughs> uh, I don't like the deep fakes, though. I don't like them, and I don't even like showing them in jest because you wait until we have a nuclear war because some of these idiots put their faces on other idiots, and they cause a war, and next thing you know, we have people taking dumps in the street. I don't know oh, what I know. Happened. It's going to be say, it's terrifying. It, that's, that's, I think the about real fall, that's the real fallout we have to worry about is the public defecation that happens when the society falls apart because of a nuclear war. I am, <laughs> I am not that concerned. Again, we'll just laugh ourselves to the grave, my friend. That's right. And speaking of laughing ourselves, let's keep laughing. <laughs> let's keep oh, laughing, let's huh? do that. Let's keep fucking laughing, huh? Oh let's keep God, fucking laughing. Is that, Marcus, is that a flashlight? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it is getting blown up, dude. <laughs> that is one of the most blown out flashlights since yours, Marcus. <laughs> it seems like, honestly, they. Can I see that again? People do it. Wasn't there someone who had got caught having sex with their car? Oh my god, look at that. There's always one. They have the object people. I just want to know which friend decided to sacrifice their flashlight and how sad they are now knowing that they can't use it anymore. How much At is one a point, you get tired of it. How much is nope. a flashlight these days? I think, uh, I don't know. I never look paid for one. Oh, they do the butt lights now, the flashlights. They do the whole thing. You can get a whole body now. You can get a whole torso. I'm looking at these now. We looked at the dog pussies the other day, but just look at the price. Not the other day. It was a month and a half ago, and I don't want to think about it anymore. <laughs> what day is this? <laughs> I honestly don't even know. I can't believe it's September. What is this? Oh. Yeah, just tell me the price. What is this? A fucking three -star 80 bucks. Michelin restaurant? $80. You would think they would be going down in price a little bit. I guess consumer demand isn't as high as you would think it would be during a quarantine. Uh, you know, actually, it's $70. It's called the classic pink lady. That's seventy dollars. <laughs> the stamina <laughs> training unit, lady, because they call all of them ladies. What's the stamina now, training unit? It's so you can uh, train to uh, last longer. You can. How does that help you? Use it. Oh no, I'm not I... trying to check out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you wait until you have that fight with Natalie. That'll be exciting. Oh, That'll man. be really, really fun. They got yeah, so just... many of them now. There's the ice lady. There's the grip. There's what's the, the turbo. About that, wait, about what's the ice website? lady? It could t I don't understand. I don't want to get too intimate, but I bought one of those accidental mix packs of, like, the condoms with the temperature changings, and they're bad. Uh, oh, they're buddy. Bad. It's like putting Icy Hot on your cock. It I don't know really why matter. anybody plays with temperature. I don't think that that's really needed. Also, why are you still wearing condoms? You're married. This happens. 
What is this happens? What you guys still wear <laughs> condoms and you're married? Every once in a while, yeah. Isn't that, every once in a while? I don't know. Just okay, we'll move on because that's that's very confusing. I would say but it's weird to have like the temperature changing games in the thing, and then also why do they put sexy women in the in the fucking like the website? Because that's the saddest place. You're not there. You're there because you don't have a sexy woman to bring yeah. you a flashlight. This is for a specific group of more lonely. So you, you would prefer that they show the man, the overweight man, using it. I that's feel what I'm like looking at. Which... That's, that's the ice lady oh, that's right there. that's just glass. It's not even cold. Can you freeze it? Can you put water in it? And freeze <laughs> well, the it? reason why it's called the ice lady is because it's clear so you can watch everything that's happening. Oh, my God. Of the flashlight. That's like getting blown by Krang. I don't need to see what's going on in there. Once it's gone, it's gone. I don't want to know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I don't want to see it. Oh, I don't yeah. want to see Look it. I want weird. it to disappear. Yeah, the, uh, the tagline is, everything looks bigger in ice. Now, what is happening? That's not even true. Oh, wait, so this is ice. supposed to be me lying to myself? I'm, <laughs> oh, yeah, to, I'm not going to. I can't. That doesn't work. Yeah, just anyway, yeah, because it's, talk, do you talk it's going to be magnified. Look at that, look at that monster. <laughs> yeah, look at that big monster. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, you don't think about that. Is, <laughs> what, I don't even understand. Also, how do you have, anyway, well, good good for them. I'm happy they're diversifying. At least but I feel, but I'm, I'm with you. I do believe that it's the same thing with fast food restaurants. I want to see the people eating the food that I want to see using the food. Like, I hate that they always put skinny, attractive people in these. I want to see a big fat guy eating a sandwich. Henry, you're that's not going to exactly, buy the sandwich. You're not going to buy the no, sandwich then. I Honestly, that is who I truly, like, want to know if they like the sandwich. I don't care if a skinny woman likes a sandwich. They do that. The skinny women do like the skin sandwich sometimes. And, and that's kind of fun if you think about that from that perspective. You just want to get cast in a commercial. <laughs> yeah, I remember I went in one time for a serious Wendy's commercial. I very rarely went in for like a serious, like genuine commercial. <laughs> Bless you. COVID. Bless you. COVID got me. But I went Sorry. and got, I had to do the whole audition. I, stra I swear to God was, they said, all right, Henry, you're at a Wendy's. <laughs> Bless you. Time. Sorry. You're about Sorry. to have a burger. I want you to bite in that burger. And so I was like, like literally like, like this, like, like, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, take a bite of it, and I was like, yeah, baby. Well, that's a good <laughs> burger. But then I got a callback, <laughs> <laughs> and then I waited to do it in the callback. They're like, all right, Henry, I we'll love you doing the first snack. This one, all right. You're sitting at the Wendy's. It's raining outside. All right, you are. You just got back from really good news at work. Wow. Have your burger, and I was like, Promoted. okay, and I went like. Same thing. Ooh, like, yeah. Good stop, twist. stop, stop. I should like too that. big. Too big. Make it smaller. Smaller. And I was like, hamburger. too big? Or too big acting wise? And you're like, smaller. So I was like, <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. Don't like, talk to me. No. <laughs> no, no. You didn't no. get it? Like you're really eating a burger. <laughs> and I was like, I, but this is me really eating burger. And yeah, they're like, they're like, no, really, like, really eat, eat the eat, act as if you are sitting at a restaurant and eat a burger. And I was like, <laughs> like, ah, no. Well, you know what <laughs> I would have done in that situation because I'm not a total hog person like Mr. Zabrowski. Oh, act like I'm really eating a burger. Okay, knife and fork. What are you? This is not. They're not selling to the special that's, needs community. They're no, trying that's how to people, have someone. That's how classy not... people eat hamburgers. <laughs> that's how classy people. No, that's how you can do it. <laughs> can you imagine that? All of the looks on their faces if I just like took out knife and fork. And they're... <laughs> <laughs> and they're all... That's a fancy burger. Or if you're really classy, it's your birthday. That's a flamethrower. That's a birthday burger. That's a flame for my flame for my candle. I would have gotten the job. They don't send me out on no freaking auditions anymore, though. Can't curse no. them out too many times, or their manager gets a call, and the next thing you know, they they think you're a risk. It literally is what happens to you. Yeah. 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 Well, speaking of classy people, Ben, this next one's for you. Woohoo! And this features a very classy old wrestler named Captain Lou Albano. Oh, look yeah! Best Let's see it. Beard in the first. game. Goblins, ghosts, and witches. Oh, we, we don't have any sound. Come on down. 
to the Kent Pharmacy on Route 52 God, Kessel, in Kent, New Kessel York. Alone. We've got hairnets, we've got sprays, <laughs> we've got cosmetics, we've got prescription drugs, we've got it all together. We've got masks, we've got swords, we've got costumes for all occasions. Wow. I want to get my prescription want, drugs from the same place that sells girls. come on masks. down, remember the name, Kent Pharmacy. Also, during the month There's of so October, we've got out. outrageous sales. <laughs> 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 50% off on selected gifts and merchandising. Remember, I'm Captain Lou, and I'm I talking to you forget. about the Kent Pharmacy, the wow. finest Look at pharmaceutical Captain outlet sell. in the entire area. I mean, he it's just Captain looks very... Lou telling you to come He's on great. <laughs> Rap Raw Daddy P immediately <laughs> said Ed Lars. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> Eddie. It does. It really like does Eddie. look like Eddie. Pharmacy. For those That's of you that don't know, Patricia Bateman is asking what the fuck is on his beard. That is Captain Lou Albano. Captain Lou Albano, for some reason, did... He did the put. You put rubber bands in his beard, yeah. and he had crazy jewelry, and that was his thing. He was a wrestler, right? Yeah, he, he was more just of a, a manager. Character. Yeah, he, he was, was a manager. More of a manager. And he, of course, he came out with Cindy Lauper. Mm -hmm. He was huge in the game. He was mainstream. I think he was in the cartoon, the WWE cartoon. Remember that when they had the Superstar Saturday? Mm -hmm. he and he played uh he played Super Mario. Yeah, the, the Mario Super Brothers Ma live action show. That yeah, movie, the Super that Mario Brothers really? Super Show. Yeah, that was Holy Captain Lou Albano. Yeah. That's a great fucking show. Do you remember? I wonder if that da, show da, 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 do the Mario. Take your hands right on your hips. Oh, yeah, wow. That's right. That Plunge the toilet with your hand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Want a doll. Here's the offending turd. As you see, sometimes <laughs> all it takes is one shit to ruin everybody's bathroom experience. And that's why yeah. here at Mario Mario, we make sure we take care of every lump of shit that's keeping you from going. Yes, to indeed. Places. I feel like Captain Lou Albino. Uh, Albino. Uh, Albino? Albino? I forget. But uh, anyway, I could see him pitching a porno called Twilight Poon. If you think about it, it's not the Twilight Zone. It's a porno set in the future called Twilight Poon. Why would you call it the Twilight Bone? <laughs> I don't know, Henry, because that's why it was him. I don't crush okay, it. Fine, Twilight Bone. <laughs> it's better than Twilight Poon. Twilight that could be the sequel. I crush it. Boo News. They said, hey, when Lloyd Kaufman's new movie comes out, check that out. I'm in the first scene. Just saw Shakespeare's shitstorm, and I want to say that was a very good. It felt almost melancholy. It felt like a sum up of the entire career of Troma Films. Yeah, and I'm I'm actually I'm in Shakespeare shitstorm. Because Marcus, is, <laughs> you forget that Marcus is in he's in this awful scene where it's always people throw it up. Not he's, an awful scene. It's, 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 it was it's, Nadia White who happened to eat a little bit too much food, <laughs> an accident, and then she had to throw up everywhere. He is fucking honestly just fucking threw up. Every, it was wild. But watching Marcus in character drumming for the cowman, and then some woman's just breasts just bouncing up and down. Like I could feel them. They must have been so <laughs> close to your neck. But she didn't touch me. No, no, no. She absolutely didn't touch me. But yeah, the, she was a uh, topless wearing a toxie mask. Uh, she, boy, she was a handful. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. I don't think she was topless if she was wearing a, a toxi mask. Uh, yeah. Do you think about what's above the boobs? Yeah. Oh, man, I saw a dude fully nude get out of his car today wearing a fucking, but still wearing the mask. What? <laughs> Literally what saw a guy. I swear to fucking what? Christ. It was when I left Side Stories recording today. He, I watched a guy park his car. I swear to God, open up. He is fully nude, and he looked pissed. He got up and went, he slammed his car door. It's like, fuck this like he did this movement like fuck this and then walked away from it but he was wearing the mask but no other clothes <laughs> what do you mean where did he go he was just on the street but he was now that's still i don't can you show i'm new to california can you show the dong i, I think so show the boobs you can show the boobs and i think York. you might be able to show open dong wow what what was he so mad about do you think maybe a porn shoot gone wrong or something maybe somebody stole his fucking clothes <laughs> Well, that would be the most reasonable answer, I suppose. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see another Marcus, one. You got to just fuck it. You ram it in there. Buddy. Well, I was, there. No, I was checking out the nudity laws in California. There's oh, a lot of it got, on right now. Are there Honestly, are... what is the nudity laws in California? Can uh, you show dong? If you're in public, you can't show your dong. Can you show your butt? Uh, you, I don't think you can show your butt. I think that's also indecent exposure. Can you show your WAP? Oh, actually, this other Wait, person ask. says that it is legal to be naked in California in public. Is that just know. a Yelp review? It's Quora, so, you know. Okay. Yeah, Quora, is, Quora <laughs> has replaced Yahoo Answers as the place where you just go where I – because I answered one Quora thing in the very beginning, and then I still get messages of like, oh, yeah. how can I tell if my dog loves me? I'm 60 years old. Can oh. I be a ballerina? Like, very strange. <laughs> yes, yes. 
All right, oh. let's, see an- let's see another one. Let's get into it. Oh, look, there is a banana slug. Let's go lick Ooh. it. No, don't lick it. No, don't, don't lick it. Oh, don't come on, it. buddy. You're gonna hallucinate. Oh, you fucking disgusting. I like it. It's a slug abuse. And you liked it. No, the slug did not like it. He liked it. The slug hated it. I don't know if the slug noticed. Yeah, I think the slug slug was not regarding him. If you lick (laughs) something that's already wet and slimy, do do you make it dry? I don't know. I have no idea what happens when you lick a slug. Do you wipe? Do you wipe the slime off, or do you put more slime on? If it wipes it off and makes it not sluggy, then the slug's not going to have a good time moving around. It's going to get I caught think, by a bird. I honestly think it could potentially hurt the slug because you're removing some of the slime. Yeah. Huh. Apparently, if you lick a slug enough, your tongue will go numb because some Native Americans used to put slugs in their mouths and they had a toothache and they just let it call, crawl around in there. Isn't Horrible decision. What a horrible I mean, doctor yeah. that is. I think it's honestly, it's better than Oxycontin. Look at the 65K we're losing a year because of this opioid epidemic. Start giving everyone slugs. I think that's a great thing. Nature's cure. Oh, what a good way to combat cunnilingi tongue. What, does it go numb? If you're really going at it. I think you need to have a conversation with, you guys need to get, you guys go to go to the doctor together and figure that out. <laughs> Maybe it's good, you know, because then you can really... <laughs> Go Dude, you got a you got a stubby tongue though, don't you? No, I got a little Donald Duck tongue. No one wants to know this. <laughs> if, there was, if, if there was like the opposite of information that people cared about, this is it. It's disgusting. Nobody wants oh. to know that. By the way, don't don't lick the banana slug because it could hurt the slug because the slug's uh, slime is made of a highly polymeric material that can absorb water extremely rapidly. So you don't want to lick the slug because it's going to fuck with the slime, like Henry. That's said. what I was. That's what I said. Oh, did you say that? I'm just yes. so used to Henry saying reasonable things. Oh, you're used to Henry saying reasonable things. This is what happens. Talking about his stubby tongue <laughs> and how he gets numb because he doesn't know what happening, right? <laughs> Let's see another video. Oh, it's going to bite it off. Don't do that to the little crow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like puffing. <laughs> it does sound like puffing. <laughs> Let's hear it again. Let's hear it again. Wow, cute. <laughs> it's a big worm. <laughs> Crows are very they, intelligent, you know. Uh, crows are some of the smartest. They are some of the smartest. That's a big worm for that crow. I hope uh-huh. that they actually fed it afterwards because it's kind of mean to do that too. It's like eating plastic fruit. Oh my God! Something about it. It's something about that noise it's making. How do you get that far with that kind of crow in your house? What do you mean? How do you get that far? Like, how do you get the crow to trust you that much? I guess so. We have our friend Graham. He grew up with a raccoon in his house that they treated as a pet. That's this good. thing, like truly, thing they kept, but it would just claw the fuck out of everybody in the house. But it yeah. kind of crawled into the house when it was a baby, and then they kept it as a pet for forever. And then they used to take it on trips and shit, and they'd go missing and then come back, and they have to go up into trees Aww. and bring it down. But it didn't like being told what to do, and it didn't really it didn't seem to be much of a pet. And then one day, they just kinda, it just left. <laughs> well, it's kind of like Kissel. <laughs> it's kind of like if you adopted Kissel now, where like him just showing up, coming and be like, "Hey, mom, I got any breakfast." <laughs> slap a bunch of grab all the beers drink it's like did you drink all your father's beers last night yeah well, i just so what mom <laughs> fucking 39 years old my dad doesn't <laughs> drink beer and i never wake up for breakfast so that analogy is completely flawed mr zabrowski do you don't eat breakfast in your, when you're your parents home no i never eat bre- i'm not a breakfast guy never you don't happened. like I breakfast my first, i usually eat my first meal around 4 p.m yeah, you don't like breakfast. We've noticed this on the road. I remember I this. Care. It's yeah. like Marcus and I like a full breakfast, strong breakfast. And I need it. Marcus needs it for his medication. Marcus, I need it no, for my Marcus, attitude. Marcus doesn't like a strong breakfast. Marcus likes that weird English breakfast that I would not say is strong. I think uh, it's, that's a strong breakfast. Bl- I think it's pudding, a weak breakfast. Oh, what are you talking about? A, a big strong- pile of beans, a yeah. big thick bowl of pudding, some eggs, some bacon, Ugh. some toast. Honestly, oh, though, when we had that fucking, shit. the quote-unquote full Irish in Dublin, <laughs> when we had that, I never fucking, my, my shit was like white and pink. It's not good. <laughs> not <laughs> put it. it was it my, like a full globule of fat it's was not like good on breakfast. top of my shit. My gut was never healthier. Uh, it it was, went back, it was the homeland. 
Ugh. Because I know. the full Irish, the difference between because I got schooled on that, the full English, is that they don't have. I believe it's uh, Irish is black and white pudding. Mm-hmm. Ah. White pudding is cum. Yes, of <laughs> course. That's what you have. That's the difference. The two, yeah. where in English doesn't have. I believe doesn't have white pudding. Is there because a English light? save in their they save their cum to make one child. <laughs> of course, uh, that's how you get a prince. Is there one? Uh, is there a thing on the fleshlight thing called the full Irish? Is there any full Irish sex toys out there? Ugh. I did there see one be. that's called the flesh sack. Uh, if we can actually, if we could maybe put that up on the screen Ugh. for when you gave sack? too many fleshlights. And the Welcome flesh to sack. The- but, so it's just a sack that you squeeze and then uh, no it's a butthole with a nut sack attached oh, oh can oh, i see that's... yeah let's have, w- w- but I, I would was... imagine our technical team right now is hard at work trying oh, to oh yes the Dog me, i swear to god we look at more fucking fake pussies on your mandate <laughs> than any well, this seems one to be a butthole so I, and you know diverse. what i didn't even bring it up you guys were the one well no i did bring it up i did you show did the definitely flight. brought yeah, it up because yeah, you showed the video of the flashlight in the now i remember yeah yeah, it was it's a fascinating saying, segment of American history. I love the idea of the it business of it. I, w- I think there was a Mr. Show sketch that had the mom and pop dildo shop. Yeah. I believe uh, that that was. I want more of that. Where is the locally sourced fuck tubes? I want <laughs> neighborhood. I want to know it's from the neighborhood. I know sure. the man who made it. I want to know the man who made it, and I want to know his son who sold it to me. Absolutely. I'm happy they did not reboot Mr. Show. They were thinking about it for a second. They did. Been- they did. It was on Netflix. <laughs> Altoids. <laughs> the nice thing about Altoids, you put it in your mouth, and you don't realize that you're actually eating food as well. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Look at this. Did you notice when you open up Altoids, it just says, Uncle! <laughs> <laughs> Which really makes you wonder. What happened to your mouth? Yeah, I don't uh, want anybody to scream for my uncle. Um, yeah. Why don't we play another video while they're figuring out where, where the nuts and the yeah, we'll holes that out. are? This was super fun. Just okay. check it. This is just people having fun with a really bad idea that could have gone really wrong. It's almost like we, what we do every day. Every yeah. day. It's a million firecrackers. Oh, what do you mean bad idea? This is yeah, bad idea. Isn't that, oh, no, I'm thinking this is a pretty well thought out idea. As yeah. you can see, they're in a pile. Yeah, and all... there's that child right next to it. Several <laughs> of them. They got to light it. Look at all those firecrackers. That's fucking Wait, awesome. Down. You got to have the sound. Where's the sound? You have the sound. Where's the sound? Where's the sound? Give me the money, Lebowski. Wow, look at that. Now Man, that's, that's fucking dope. Up. Total fucking chaos, dude! I Uh-oh. wouldn't move the Oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh, oh, this is running out of here. They are yeah. all collectively understanding that this was a bad idea. Right. No one right. planned it. They didn't think that anything was going to happen. I feel like they shouldn't have done it downtown. You kind of want it maybe in an empty parking lot. Man, that's cool as hell. That yeah, fire is never going to go out. No, yeah. that's going to burn down a few businesses there. But it was fun for a while until it got completely out of control and destroyed their entire city center. But that, what, what's the point? What's the point yeah. if you don't destroy the city center on every 4th of July? If you don't even come close, it's not even a party. Well, you know what this country does great? Rebuild. And in order to rebuild, you got to destroy. And what better way to destroy than... Ah, uh, there it is. There, there, it, is. there <laughs> it is. Great. <laughs> now, this doesn't what? actually make sense, though. I'm angry about this because I thought the balls were going to be dangling down. Whose balls... Oh, no, that it's, way, it's, when it comes so to the it's, it's, it's set it's on a, lying on a table. It's on a table. <laughs> what? It's just there sitting on a table. Is. Oh, that's much better. That's called, I just no, think that no, that is the most oh, horrendous thing I've ever seen. That's <laughs> the most horrendous thing I've ever seen, only because. Well, the right, let me just use my fingers to feel just how many, how much of a distance between my butt hole and my balls are. Because that's like, basically, I'm not even going to say. You think that's appropriate? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I've got like four fingers in between. Oh, five God. small fingers. That is disgusting. I'm feeling it. I'm touching well, it right now. I'm touching yeah. my taint right now. Okay, we don't need to know that. Yeah. My God. It's yeah, the right? perineum. The perineum. perineum. Or perineum, if you're perineum. fucking Travis Morningstar, who um, fucking uh, uh, comes at us every time we say it. Per- perineum. Perineum. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think that's I think that's kind of fun, you know, if you want to. I mean, obviously. You know, it just go, felt go that the me. balls... In that gooch, that's a gooch tube. In that gooch tube, I do feel that the balls were very close to the butthole. I think they actually gave it some pretty good distance. I think yeah. that was anatomically fairly correct. If one person knows the perineum, uh, that would be the fleshlight people. They know yeah, the that's distance. That's true. I mean, why would I ever fucking question? Honestly. I wouldn't. Not in this. Not in, I got not a thousand scientists. Climate change. 
I just, you know, I, I do think they got this right. Also, I'm very disgusted to know that you have a four finger um, taint. How? What do you have? I'm not gonna try. Why? <laughs> What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Lighting? I'm not afraid of anything other than I don't. Don't I don't have I don't have a I don't I, I now I'm just wash your hands. Look now I'm just sitting on huh. you're sitting on your hands. You know I wonder if it's one of those things where like all like every man has four fingers between his taint and his balls like no oh, matter the size. Oh, that. oh like, it's like, like an Egyptian. Those, yeah. No, it's not <laughs> like Egyptian that. It doesn't make like, any yeah. sense. No, like where your arms are, everyone's arms are like the same they're height. height. They're That's height? actually yeah. not true. Aaron, and the uh, elbow to Giannis the wrist. Kumpo has longer arms than he does legs. I think they say from the elbow to the wrist is how far a dick can go in your pussy. That is untrue as well. That is just simply not true. I'm seeing with the chat. Let's see what the chat says. Nothing. Yeah, Nothing. I, don't, I don't think anyone has any uh, has any kind of idea Get about some the hand sanitizer. Finger. I'm doing it through my fucking shorts. I'm not even going up and <laughs> under my hands. underpants. No, that was the only time I've ever encouraged the chat. Get some hand sanitizer. What do you mean? Why? I mean, it's my home. It's my fucking gooch. And there's oh no fucking God. COVID on that. There's just shit and sweat and probably yeah, wait. splashes of pee. You wait. All right, Marcus. Get us out of this. All right. I'll get you out of this. Boy, you're going to love. Oh, my God. You're going to love where this, this is then. going next. <laughs> you're going to love this. This one is called Rubber Pig in Slurry. I don't like oh, it. God. I'm not going to like it. Little A lot of people saying four fingers. Oh my God, God. Marcus, you are so freaking disgusting. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That is human shit. We're all saying four fingers. Everybody saying Every, four Great, fingers. I'm so happy we solved that. <laughs> also, what? Why? Um, you know, this is I actually just... nine minutes into the video. Great. Well, yeah, this I was assuming he had to get all just... to eat a lot to duke on him. Can I and ask? It's, and it's not human. It is. It, I think it's pig shit. Oh, God. Oh, it's, it's, like, I'm gonna so much Marcus, better. End this. Marcus, get rid of this. No, no, Why are no, you, no, no, why no, are you, you shaming for it. this man? I'm oh, not shaming it. Like, I don't it. care. <laughs> Whatever he they do. Loves he loves it. He loves it. And he... Oh, there so he goes. You can see his little pig ears. That's I why he's called this. the rubber pig. I love this reboot of Swamp Thing. I just don't know <laughs> if I'm going to see it in the theaters. Oh, right. Wow. Also, Think who about... is filming? This is an active camera. I believe that the camera's is true. moving. So no, there's... Still... There's a person filming this guy. He has a lot of videos. He's been doing this for about three years now. This is different. Oh, oh my oh, God. He's loving it. Marcus. You know what? I, you know who does this type of thing, honestly, I'm Kissel? I'm bringing out the whip. I'm bringing out the whip. This is your whip, and I'm bringing it out. This must have. What was the... You were a bad boy. You are a bad boy. I'm, I'm just a bad, I'm doing wrong thing for a right time. Um, See, that's the I, thing, Ben, is you got to sit with it for a little bit. Once I don't want to sit with it, it for a little bit. You sit, no, but once you sit with I it for a little bit, then it becomes normal. I don't want this to become normal. <laughs> this is this is what all this is like what Ben Shapiro is talking about. This, this is what he <laughs> thinks that legitimately like what the mayor of San Francisco does. Every Meanwhile, day. that might be Ben Shapiro for all we know. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, it's the, whoever that is. That is a person that has been on Fox News. Yes. Uh, I also in order. German. This, German. Oh, it's right. German. Yeah, yeah. Now he put he found it, something. Did he find? He found it? his boot. He found because he lost, he lost his, boot his boot earlier. Marcus, can you just turn this off? No one watching. <laughs> this is like we just got a new adult swim contract. I don't know why. <laughs> also, why is that? Get out of here. He's okay. loving it. All right. <laughs> I can guarantee. You. No, there are no guarantees. <laughs> but you know who's filming that? Truly? What is oh. this? <laughs> go back to whatever that was. Please, God. All right, enough. But that man Executive is a... Executive decision. We that have is a normal man. And you it know is not a normal man. Honestly, that's probably like his wife. Because those are the people that you get super, super involved. Because at some point, you've been married for 10 years. Maybe you guys are financially... Involved, like, hold, I'm saying this, right? Scenario. You guys have been married a long time. You have a lot of shit together. Like, you, it's, a, Literally. it's hard for you to like separate your lives. Maybe you run a business together. Maybe you have a podcast network together. And then what your job, you know that if you get divorced, it's gonna ruin everything, but Harold has some wants and needs. And so you have to have and a some ideas, some very interesting ideas. And you are, this is com completely frank, is probably a compromise is what you're looking at. <laughs> you're probably looking at a marriage compromise where they had to sit, I and mean, he probably wanted to do so much worse. And he's- and I don't like, no, think that's possible. They maybe. do 
a video once every they've been doing videos for three years they do one once every like three or four months or so uh the last one they actually put out two at the same time about three months ago the one of them is called piglet playing on the dung heap um, <laughs> which, oh, right. I mean, the, the song, there's three people involved in that one because there's oh. the cameraman, the per, the man sitting in a, a little tub, and the dude that's driving the front end loader that's just pouring, just <laughs> load after load of pictures on him. And then there's another one called Play in Quarantine. So they're doing oh, their part. Oh, they're oh, yeah, nothing, care of themselves. Nothing is safer than playing in pig shit. Yeah, that it's is... the rubber pig sitting in a tub and oh, his right. partner just pouring bucket after bucket after bucket of shit uh, right. in a very uh, creepily oh. lit red room. Great. You, you oh, that's the that? oh, that's the creepy thing, Marcus, is the lighting? <laughs> the lighting is actually people. crucial. If you watch the twin, I've been watching season three of Twin Peaks again, the lighting really makes quite a bit. Yeah, was there a scene where there was a man dressed as a pig covered in pig shit? Was there a scene that I missed? If it was thematically a part of the Twin Peaks universe, I imagine he would have included it if it was necessary. Because uh, the thing's yeah, 18 could. hours long. Yeah, if you want to check it out, there's actually there was a, no he did a Christmas he did a Christmas video about eight months ago where he's wearing a Santa hat. Doesn't even make sense. What was that? February, January? It was Jan. No, what? This man is hey, wrong on everything. Sometimes you got it. Sometimes you got to celebrate Christmas in February by putting on a Santa hat, dressing as a latex fuck pig, and jumping into a pile of shit. <laughs> put it put it on a damn billboard. There's nothing wrong with being a latex fuck pig. I will defend everyone's right to be a latex fuck I am pig. not I even think... not defending him. I am saying, although I, it better be his pigs. I don't that's going to be better. that's the one thing if is that if he's out, breaking if I, and entering, that's if I be found, actually very sad. If I'm a pig farmer and I find someone dressed as a pig in latex and his wife is filming him swimming in my goddamn pig shit like it's a freaking swimming pool, you get you get to kill both of them. You get to kill both. <laughs> well, I'll say this. All of the videos, uh, except for one or two, are filmed during the day. So I think that either they own the farm or they have permission or they slipped a farmer 50 bucks or 50 euro we need and asked him, people, can we go play around? We need to get people back to work. We need people to get back to work. <laughs> I uh, think this guy's start. I think his job is I think this is his job because guys gotta go down and he's a those... dookie scuba job. He's a dookie scuba diver. That's yeah, his dude. job. Yeah, dude, like septic tank workers exist. They have to sometimes go down in Do it. Do not bring in the Do you great remember that show septic Dirty workers work? of this country. Do you remember <laughs> Dirty is... Work? What's his name? The guy, the handsome guy that used to go do all the jobs that nobody wanted to do. What was it called? Dirty Work, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mike yeah. Rowe. Mark Rowe, one of those Oh, guys. you're talking about Dirty Jobs. Dirty Work is the comedy with... I know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, I know what Mike Rowe used to do for the camera. That is entirely different. I don't think he was doing it for sexual pleasure. Hey, man. Ice people to buy their videos online. I tell you, you what, during this fucking recession, if I got a fucking pig farm all full of shit and I got a couple of, yeah, these, these fucking German perverts want to dive around in it, but if you're going to give me a fucking 500 bucks user fee, no C, no D. Yeah, wait until they come into your house to shower. And then you're going to have a lot of cleaning up to do there. That's going to cost an extra 500. That's a oh, that's an extra 2,000. I would actually. Least, that's where you get the real money. Yeah. You pay him to leave. I hear that's the uh, that's, that's the term. Yeah, 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 yeah. You pay to leave. Pay him yeah. to leave. Uh, All right, let's, let's get let's check out another. Let's let us cleanse our palate. No warning with that thing. Whoa, Kaya Crow said Mike Rose an asshole. I didn't know that. Hmm. Oh, be. this is just some great music. What Remember is the that? sound uh, problem. See, we're in a television. Yeah, we did, this, one, this one doesn't make any sense unless we have sound. Sounds Whoa! Cutting out for some reason. Sound is yeah, cutting sounds out for cutting some out. Oh, you know, it's, it's the stream for, for and, us. For us. Okay. Oh, Never. but the audience can hear. Yeah. For, oh, the audience can hear. Oh, the audience oh. can hear it. Oh, then oh. play it. I mean, I don't know what's happening, but audience can hear it. It's all good. Um, well, I did like the uh, I did like the Teletubby uh, cosplay there. It, Do you remember? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, see, now that's quality entertainment. Whoa! I don't remember this Teletubby character. The Bunghole Ripper. Love a good base. Whoa! I don't mind it. Kind of loose. 
of the plot there, but what is he the started plot, out really Henry? good. Well, that's good. That's the best part of being a drummer. Can you do that, Marcus? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Marcus can do that. I've seen him do that. This might be Marcus, for all we know. <laughs> Whoa! That's cool as hell. Yeah, Honestly, it's great. Kind of scary. Fun Can't with loops. The Teletubbies were very controversial. The Christian right thought they were promoting the gay lifestyle. So look at that. Isn't that interesting? Think about that, Jerry Falwell. Yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot that they thought that, uh, yeah, the purple well, one was gay because he had yeah. a triangle head or something. There's something there. They Again, it's all projection. Yep. The Teletubbies yep. did, said nothing. They literally are no. nonverbal. They didn't say so, anything. There was a they, baby uh, as the son. Yeah, because it was a uh, purple, had a triangle on its head, and its name was Tinky Winky. Oh, wow. And, uh, you know how many gay guys I know named Tinky Winky? Every one of them. Every one. Yep. They're certainly <laughs> never just Winky. named like Terrence. No, no, no. Bradley. No. They're always named like Clacky Wacky or Bunky Dunky. Like no, how I... many times? They always oh, yeah, have Bunky little Dunky. Names. I, I remember hanging out with Bunky Dunky. You remember that Bunky might Dunky have been the guy and his work? The pig shit. <laughs> Bunky Dunky. Oh, no, that's why, yeah, Goblin Vokes is because he had a purse. Mm, and yeah. I actually want to go and say that he had a bag. A because bag you know what I have? What's wrong with a purse? I did that, too. You have a fanny pack, Henry. Henry wears a fanny pack now, uh, just like a professional wrestler. It's really powerful I'm stuff. Huh. You are a little Teletubby. <laughs> so he wears a fanny pack? I'm a little Teletubby because Henry, I have a little Henry bag. Wears... And the it's reason why bad. I have a little bag is because my shorts are all jawstring. They're a fun boy shorts. And if I put anything but my wallet and my phone in my, my shorts, my pants fall down. You don't there have you the go. butt. Yeah, you don't have the no, butt to hold everything up. have a butt. Yeah. Well, I think that's wonderful. That Jerry Falwell Jr. sex scandal, by the way, I mean, it was definitely one of the better ones because it was relatively mundane. He just had sex with another person that was an adult female. Usually they get worse. Boring. Yes, indeed. What a putz. Yeah. He's a putz. He got 10 million bucks, though. Real schmuck. I don't yeah. read the news anymore. I just play Uno. Perfect. I By yourself? Mushrooms. That's all you got. Henry took mushrooms for a full week and played Uno nonstop. <laughs> so now he's just everyone's grandmother. And I love to hear her. I'm My psychedelic for grandmother. Also, yeah. RIP to Chad Chadwick Boseman. I can't believe that's absolutely horrible. I was yeah, thinking about that popping course. back up, and I keep thinking about how the fact that he did years of some of the hardest acting work, physically, press tours, dying of bowel cancer. We had no fucking clue. I can't fucking believe it. And you know if I have a cut on my hand. <laughs> like, you know, my ankle hurts. I'm calling the hospital. I am the weakest bitch in the world when it comes to physical pain. Yep, and that I, man I that. fought the hardest cancer in the world to fight. My grandfather died of bowel cancer. It's the worst cancer wow. in the world. Well, I am so happy that you found this to be the perfect time to say something very serious about an American actor who is loved by everyone. Right after we showed a Teletubby playing drums, and right before that, we played a man drowning in pig shit. So I think hey, at least I did it time. after a neutral <laughs> video. Very I did it after a neutral video. I didn't do it after the, the, the shit. No, obviously. And Ben, really. he wasn't drowning in pig shit. He was living in he pig shit. He was thriving in pig he shit. Yeah, right. so it's actually worse. If he was drowning in pig shit, I would say help him. But now I think he probably <laughs> just needs to stay there forever. Okay, well, I, I, that, I, you that know what, Ben? might be a grocer at a grocery store. That man has human contact with others within yeah. hours. Of oh, school. no, man. He's probably your fucking chiropractor. He's probably uh, uh, an accountant. He's Cowboy probably practice. got a job in because you, how much of those pink latex practice. suits? Those suits are like fucking a couple of grand. Yes, they are. Chiropractors and dentists. I think a chiropractor is more sadistic than the dentist because dentistry is a proven thing that actually works to save health and save lives because heart disease can start with bad teeth. Um, but uh, carpentry, not carpentry, chiropractory, it doesn't. It's not proven to work. So, no, it's witch doctory. Yes, indeed. They just crack your bones and then laugh and laugh and laugh. They laugh and they go, they're trying to fucking kill you. It's scary. I used to have to do it all the time because my dad was super into it. But all, all the, uh, his, uh, his arthritis just got worse. Anyway, yeah. that's arthritis quarter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting arthritis. It's starting to settle in. Really? Yeah, I'm getting it. My yeah, I'm getting it in my hands. Christ. So yeah, it's real fun. Well, it's real fun. So let's not think about that. Omega oils. Yeah, yeah, maybe a fish oil, maybe a good it. balm, a good oh, tiger balm. Oh, you need balm. a fish oil. Yes, you need to go to a little chiropractor that just does small joint manipulation and crack them. <laughs> well, the, to forget about all that, to forget about the arthritis and the death and the inexorable march towards death and everything that's coming for us. It's like you're remembering it. Honestly, it's kind of comforting the way you say it.
Yeah. Let's see. Just the inexorable march towards nothingness. That's what we're doing every single day. Every, That's every, just us. Okay, let me just say this, though. Everyone who has died has said, like, oh, you experience nothing. But isn't nothing something? If you hmm. can experience nothing, aren't you still experiencing something? It's the opposite. <laughs> no? No? Well, let's forget about all that and let's watch this little dog that's upset he's on a diet. Oh. <laughs> Don't put a doggy on a diet. <laughs> no. cute video. Sometimes also, dogs do need to go on a diet. He's, he's good. He's junkie. a good size. He's a little junkie. He's he just wants his food. Give the dog your food. I'll give the dog your food. Was he protesting? No, you'll get more he's tonight pro at supper. You are not starving. He is starving. No, you're not. You're this is a game it. that Wendy plays that we have to convince the Whoa! Yes, he is! <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I've heard no, that before. Listen. You gotta give the dog a treat! You're on a diet because you're a little chubby. Okay? Whoa! Mean spirited. <laughs> yeah, N no. <laughs> I'm with the dog on this one. Do have, <laughs> hey, do you want a snack? Like, um, maybe an ice cube? Yeah, give the so, an ice cube. What is he, Gwyneth Paltrow? It, it, it what do you mean? The dog. It an the ice dog cube. It, no, it does not. It's it's a terrible trick for the dog. No, it it's nice. It helps. When he does this thing, well, she she refuses to come to bed. She sits in the other room and she'll do. She acts like I, she just got saved from a fucking river. Where she gets down, she goes like. And then she just licks the floor next to where her bowl is. Like, what I did was when I went when I went to Target, I got a big old vat of just little nibblers. They're like little, um, they're like little. Uh, what do you call those things there? That you got the pretzel crust. Sometimes you put a little cheese in there. They're very, very tiny things. Combos. <laughs> combos. combos. Thank, Thank you, titties. They're like dog combos. And if those dogs like, if they want anything, you just give them one of those, and they're happy as heck for another twenty five minutes or so. So you're feeding your dog dog combos. You're you're feeding your dogs combos every 25 minutes. Not if I'm not home. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, it is just a little combo. No, if I go to the kitchen, the dogs know that maybe a treat's going to come. But bo both of my dogs, as you've noticed, with all the exercise they're getting, are doing very very well. Honestly, Puffin looks good. Puffin That's looks nice. great. I want. You know, we thought. Yeah, you know, we thought that Georgie was uh, gaining a little bit of weight, but then when we took her on vacation last week, and she spent an entire week running, and she didn't lose any weight, and we realized she's just settling into her corgi body now. She's just a corg. That's what I'm doing. Indeed. I'm just <laughs> settling it. into my corgi body. All right, I know oh, I literally am the win. same shape. I look like one of the queen's pets. Look who's here. Oh, oh, oh corgi God. body. You he heard someone. Oh. Georgie's getting so brave. She was so yes. camera shy before. Mm -hmm. Hi, oh, Georgie. that's cute as hell. Oh. Hi, baby. Tell your dad not to look at such gross things on the internet, Georgie. No, that's what fuels his father. Her oh, father. Good Lord. That's what fuels Her him. Her father. I don't um, mean to oh. misgender. No, not oh. Georgie. She's no, okay. I got these. Uh, no, my dogs, they're, they're loving running around. They're just little, little, little animals. They're little, uh, little, little They are little athletes. animals. Little yeah. athletes. But, yeah, you got to give them little treats. Of course. You got to. Um, or you don't listen to them shriek like that. Okay, watch <laughs> Okay, watch <laughs> Whatever you want to do. I'm a single dad, okay? No, no, no. I'm not saying, I'm not blaming you. Because it comes if you're a single father, you got all these kids going like, take us to ice cream, take us to ice cream, our mom died, took us to ice cream. <laughs> and you got to fucking do it, right? And yeah, the kids yeah, are the mom's that. dead. Yeah, but the, yeah, mom died. Yeah, mom's dead. Now there's only one dad. It's just me. So yeah, we'll go to McDonald's three or four times a week. But it's only just because your father is drinking his dinner. Mm. Yeah, well, Dad doesn't necessarily know how to cook. I made spaghetti on Friday. I just finished it yesterday because uh, I love my Ben Kissel special, which is spaghetti, pizza sauce, and Parmesan cheese. Ben Kissel. You know special. what? The fact that you cooked a meal for yourself and then ate it for a few days, I commend you. I didn't mean how long has it been since you cooked a meal for yourself? Like, because you didn't have gas in your apartment in New York for years. Oh, yes. I had gas. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell because of the way you took that rancid shit in the studio today before we recorded side stories. No, that wasn't rancid. No, it uh, didn't know. It doesn't know how to play any music at all. All right. Well, let's do something else, Marcus. I hate you. <laughs> I can hate you so much. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> well, let's move on. Let's watch. Uh, th this is, okay, this might be a little confusing to those of you who haven't watched every episode of Astro Shamanauts. Oh, yeah, yeah. Catch us up, though, when you get to season five. <laughs> this is season. 
season one, but we're going to start in episode four. And I don't want to ruin it for everybody, so I'm not going to... If you want to figure out what the story of Astro Shamanats is from episode one, I say go discover the journey for yourself. But I'm just going to give you guys just... This is going to be something disgusting. I have no idea what it is. It's not disgusting at all. It is from the land of imagination, Ben Kessel. You don't have any imagination disgusting imagination could be? Yeah, my imagination is filthy. Astro Shamanat, starring Ron and Bartholomew, the eight. Okay. My brother's old. So four, it's an ordinary day. Let's see what this is. It's pretty boring. Full fun. Uh-oh. All right. Is the Enterprise? No, I don't oh, think no. it's... I don't think they have the rights to the Enterprise. It's Ron. And, that's and Bartholomew. Bartholomew, okay. All right, I'm liking the ideas so far. I love a gorilla. Also, for those of you who know, I have been watching Cowboy Bebop. I'm finally watching a very good show. A lot sadder than I, I thought it was going to be. It's a very beautiful show. Our friend Daniela Panetta will be the main star of Cowboy Bebop. I, I, honestly, she's perfect for it. To play oh, she's that, to play I'm the Mountain Ron. Watch uh -oh. out. Oh, my God, Ron. Uh -oh. Bartholomew, you save him. Uh -oh. Bartholomew, you got to save him. Oh, he, he's fine. Oh, my God. I am so scared of heights. This actually freaks me out. Whoa, this is kind of a cool. Man, Spider-Man freaks me out sometimes. He falls it, from the buildings. It actually makes my fucking bubble. I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, look at the titties on these gorilla. They're getting trapped and saying, talk about the titties. Okay, well, this is a strange way to get cable. Man, honestly, this is a cool last show. This is what everyone has to do when they're when they're uh, when it's raining and they have dish. Hello. Nice. How you doing? Oh, he's getting water. It's from the rain. He's terraforming. Whoa, terraforming. We gotta do that to Mars, man. What yeah, we'll get on that. Terraform. All of this for a glass of water? Whoa, it's just life. Go to a Denny's? No, man. No, look at that. This is fucking dope. This is what I did for seven days. <laughs> I literally did the same thing for seven days. I made flowers grow inside my own mind. And also, man, I'll fucking flip a double pick up on you so hard in Uno. Yeah, I can't be trusted. I, I believe that. I remember when you climbed that mountain with that gorilla when you were tripping on uh, mushrooms. I remember when you got all I've that extra been there on the inside, man. Yep, I remember. You gotta let the flowers grow on the inside, man. Sometimes what it takes, you gotta create clouds. And yeah, clouds seem sad at first. But honestly, dangerous. straight up, like once you once you understand the clouds are just not sad, they're just a part of nature, it's part of the cycle. It helps flowers grow. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Habitable. Habitable. Wow. And that's dope. Your life with water. Yet another this free a... product from the makers of air and dirt. That's really wow. funny, honestly. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Who did this? The Astro Shamanot. Yeah, it said it right in the beginning. That's the I also don't Ron. Know, we need to know who did it. It was Ron and the Gorilla that did it. Yeah, Ron no, but who and made it? Who's the actual creator of it? I mean, well, do you want to follow up? Do you want to One Art One produce? Wonder, Book Four of Dune, and you have to read it because it's the final form of Leto Two, and it's the ultimate version of the Fat Boy love story. Oh my God! Now, when you said that, I just thought of Jared Leto, who was the head of a cult, apparently. Which I was looking at all that footage, and I don't get it. I just don't get it. But well, whatever. This so, is made by Televisuals Video Production. Ah, uh, Turkish. Is that cleared up? Is that cleared Turkish. Up? <laughs> One of those yeah. fake companies. Yeah, they subscribe to Poo Fume. Uh, it's like perfume, but Poo Fume. Oh, they, they're connected to the Triclopians. Okay. I, I, oh, it's saying, everyone's saying Ron Gates. Ron Gates? Yeah, there's like a guy named there, Ron, Ron Gates, because it says on Gates. the front of the video. Ah. Poo Fume. Poo Fume. Yeah. Uh, his main, that's just a side project, though. His main thing is the Earthovision show. Actually, I think I've seen Earthovision before. Yeah, let's watch you watch it. <laughs> let's see yeah. what that looks like. Yeah. Imagine a world without, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah that's that's great. So you Yeah, you only like things own. that have, like, weird disembodied titties in it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, there yeah. that is. Now, what's that? They're flesh. Always oh, with the case. With I'm the not trying to show it off. I'm not taking no. it out of the fucking airport. You imagine getting knocked out with those brass knuckles, though. How embarrassing is that? You just got you got beat up with a dildo. Yeah, well, and then what is it jerking off with it? A fleshlight is not a dildo. I guess it's the inverse of a dildo, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know what the... What I don't you... know what the... I don't know. I guess, yeah. A pocket pussy, Sex I guess. Sex pocket put, yeah. pocket put, but you got to have a shorthand for it, you know? Pocket pussy. Pocket pussy, a yeah. A posse? No, a pocky? I don't know. I don't know what pocky is. Those weird little candies. Those yeah, uh, you don't want to trick. You don't want to mess those two things up. They are That's delicious, funny. though. 
Okay. I do like pockies. I do. I like when they're crushed up. I like that if you go get mm, frozen yogurt. It's been so long since I've had it. You go and you get a big pot. You know when they fucking they they judge you by the weight, and then you go and you you get one little thing. You try to get some of the lighter stuff and a separate mm-hmm. cup. Isn't that sad how they judge everything by the weight? Uh, that That's really how they sell it. But, man, I know it's kind of fun when you get like sometimes I can get one cup of frozen yogurt up to like two or three pounds. Do you know why we don't have Kinder eggs? You know the Kinder egg with a little uh, with the little bicycles inside or little toys because in this country. You can't have you can't have toys inside of candy because they're like oh a choking hazard whatever. Yeah, our um, kids are stupid. Very sad. Well, our our kids are stupid. And, and to, to, to be honest, and right. I'm actually I'm with you. I feel like they should be in there to weed out the especially weak. You play yeah. with the toy. No one's choking on these things. It's too no it's too for the, It's for the kids who eat before they think. You know, just shoving it in their mouth, shoving more, shoving cram, more, cram, not cram, thinking, cram, 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 cram it, cram it, cram it. If you're cram, doing that, cram. you have enough jaw pressure to crush the cho- to crush the weak ass plastic that is these toys. Mm. I got a small mouth, and I can't suck that hard. I know. And that. honestly, if I were to chew on it, honestly, it would probably just hurt my teeth. It could be. And then you spit it out. That's why you're alive. Um, Marcus, do we have anything else that's not poo related or anything? no poo? <laughs> no, no poo relation in any way whatsoever. We've got one more video left. Okay. Um, we can go out on this. It's about enough time to uh, take us to wow. nine o'clock. Was uh, it a good long one? Uh, yeah, it's it's long. Um, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll see how much you enjoy it. I think you might. Okay. You just might. All right. Here we go. Oh, I do like pizza cats. Pizza cats. Okay, so far I'm sold. I have no problem with it. <laughs> this is, you know what? Of all the things we've shown, this is the one that I could show to my grandparents. <laughs> yeah, they love it. I like the eyes are a little olives. The only thing that kind of freaks me out is the pepper. The pepper on top is a little freaky. Oh. Ooh, so that's spaghetti. I think it's French fries, or is that spaghetti? That's that's spaghetti. Yeah, spaghetti. Yeah. That's some cereal. kind of spaghetti. You know, you know what I saw the other day? Someone put uh, potato chips on pizza. That's disgusting. okay. I don't mind the textural element, but it's weird because I feel like the sauce would dissolve the the chips. It was just stupid. Instagram can be real dumb sometimes. This is okay. This, you actually, this is t- fucking settling me off. This is triggering me. You know, Postmates now does a thing that says. Check TikTok for all the new TikTok food crazes. Like, no I don't idea. want these children to tell me what to eat. I don't care. No, we God, LA is so strange. Oh. So stupid. The fucking. I hate Master Chef Junior. I hate children cooking. Of course. I hate it. I hate it. It's my, never my, good. My roommate Mike. Was, it's oh, anchovies. Oh, I, I don't like the anchovy either. That's it's anchovies. With the, with the Caesar salad. Enough with the anchovies. You know what I like about anchovies? Honestly, I like an anchovy in a Caesar salad. Oh, it's disgusting, Henry. I it love it. I love the smell of anchovies. I don't like the taste of anchovies, but I like the smell of anchovies. When I used to deliver, when I used to deliver pizzas for Papa John's, I used to love it when someone ordered anchovies because that meant that we could open up the anchovy can and think up the whole Papa John's for like an hour. I could totally see you, Marcus, in your Supergirl glam face with the hair down your ass, delivering pizzas, gone. <laughs> Pizza here. <laughs> and anchovies. Anchovies. Oh, we have hamburgers being introduced. Okay, I love a good cat tomato. They make good cats up, I heard. <laughs> you are on fire today. I am feeling it. Something, yes, I'm so feeling something. If you say you your best... Up. This is the only thing you have to be careful for as a comedian, is that if you accidentally waste your best joke right before you die, you have to commit suicide. <laughs> I know, I know. I don't know where the orange is coming into play here, though. So far, we've seen a hamburger and pizza. Yeah, I thought it was Pizza Cats. Yeah, this is actually... I thought this was fucking Pizza Cats. Yeah, wow. this is this is a bit misguided. Oh, oh he's eating the anchovies. He's eating the, so That's maybe the cats Pizza Cats anchovies. So the Pizza Cat wanted the orange, I guess. So will this be a stuffed crust pizza with the anchovy inside, perhaps? That would be delicious, too. This is actually oh. strangely melancholy. Yeah. I don't like the way the cheese is spread on the pizza. Again, pineapple. Well, that's kind of tangentially pizza related. I don't mind a pineapple on a pizza. I, I love, love a pineapple on a pizza. In I fact, I, I think I have a pineapple pizza waiting for me once this whole thing's done. What's Coconut, this fucking however, apple doing sense. on here? Get the fuck oh, out of here. This isn't oh. fruit. This is pizza cats. 
Yeah. Okay, the I apple, see mushrooms. The apple and the oranges are ridiculous. I don't know. Why I could see, I could eat an apple on a pizza. I could no, you could not, it. Marcus. No, you, you would like. Not. You wouldn't like it. You would hate it. Mm. I mean, I truly don't think you like. Was that a pea? Well, that's a grape, I think. No, that's a pea. What is those? Well, no, those are, are like jelly skittles. fucking beans. What is this no. shit? No. That is not your pizza. pizza. We gotta go, I guess. But that's yeah. not pizza. Oh my god! Oh damn! Fucking get crazy with the four loco pussy, man. What else? Tell yourselves, man? everyone. Have oh, a great Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed everybody. the show. Bye, Georgie. Bye, Georgie. Bye, bye, bye hank, everybody. Hank, hank, bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> That's how I ended our the last Zoom meeting. That was an important business meeting. Bye. 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 That's true. That's it. That's all I fucking got. <laughs>